Welcome to After Dark Creations Art and Review. I'm Jen, your artist and monster buddy, here to share my love of cult films, music, movies, books, and television with you. This week, I'll be reviewing Puka. If you're new to my channel, please like and subscribe for more videos like this. Puka is part of Hulu's Into the Dark series and premiered in December of 2018. The film was directed by Nacho Viglando and was written by Gerald Olson, starring Nayasha Hatendi. Dale Dickey, and Johnny Berryman. The film follows Wilson, an actor who portrays the character Puka, which is based off a children's toy that is being released for the holiday season. Wilson's journey is strange and surreal as his world begins to merge with the world of the character Puka. The Puka toy is an interactive toy, and based on the functions of its owner, Puka is either nice, which is shown with bright blue eyes and a joyful voice, or naughty, and red eyes appear and his voice becomes very tonal and demonic. <laughs> The story gets even darker as we find out that Puka has taken over Wilson's life, and in fact, naughty Puka is acting on his worst urges and anger. Eventually, we find out that this whole story of him becoming an actor, representing the character, and going on this strange kind of twisty journey with his neighbors and a love interest in her child is actually some kind of death dream because the story reveals that he is a very troubled man who has abusive tendencies. He's verbally abusive and aggressive towards his wife and son, and on Christmas Eve, he destroys the Christmas tree in order to make amends, I guess or save his marriage or convince himself that he's not that bad a guy, he encourages family to get in the car and he'll get them a Christmas tree. His wife and child, who are actually the love interest and her son in the narrative, are very frightened by his behavior. He begins to drive erratically and he gets in a car accident. His son and his wife are both killed in the accident and he is thrown from the vehicle. The puka doll, which was his son's, eyes glows red and repeats the last words of his wife, which is, which mentions the holiday lights. The story is really gut-wrenching and sad and rather dark, especially for a holiday show. But again, this is called Hulu's Into the Dark series, so you can expect some twisted and dark tales. Now, let's get into how the film informs the art. So, of course, I had the option between Nice Puka and Naughty Puka, and of course I'm going to choose Naughty Puka. He has bright red eyes. I tried to make them as glowing and luminous as possible, and I sprayed a finish on the end that gives him a rather plastic look of his eyes and around his mouth. The hair and coloration I tried to base off the film version of Puka. There is a sequel called Puka Lives, which I have not watched yet, but it's on my to-be-watched list, and I will show Really do a review on it. Overall, I really liked the aesthetic of the puka. I thought he was really cute and menacing, and that's right in my lane, so of course I was very excited to work on it. Overall, I really enjoyed puka. I thought it was dark and twisted and a very interesting take on a troubled family during the holidays. So let me know in the comment section below what you thought about Puka and who is your favorite, naughty or nice Puka? Which one would you want in your home? As always, thanks for watching. I'm Jen and let's keep it spooky, friends.